Yo, yo, what's good, everyone? Welcome to my channel. I am a sage who rises today. I will be doing the sun, moon rising of Scorpio. So let's get to it. So, angels, what we got for Scorpio at this time? What do Scorpio need to know? So, Scorpio, what you need to know is somebody is trying to come in and kiss your ass, right? But the only reason why they're trying to come in and kiss your ass is because they want the inside scoop. This is somebody that's hooked on dirt digging when it comes to you. And it's because you're unfazed by they fake flex and ass. So this is somebody who fakes flexes. <laughs> they act rich, floss money, act fancy, and shows off. And you don't give a fuck about it. It does not amuse you at all. <laughs> so they're trying to see why the fuck you're not pressed. Why the fuck you don't give a fuck what they got going on. <laughs> that sounds like a dumb problem, right? Like... <laughs> Isn't that your money? <laughs> Isn't that your flex? Not our flex. So let's see what's going on. So angels, why is kissing ass here? Yeah, two of swords. This is somebody who feels torn between two relationships. This is somebody who has divided loyalty when it comes to you. Seven of swords. So they are, you know, an enemy disguised as a friend. Five of pentacles. This is somebody that, um... Could be going through some type of temporary worldly financial difficulties. They could be having some type of negative chances in their circumstances. This could be an Aquarius, Taurus, Pisces, Scorpio. But yeah, <laughs> they're trying to kiss your ass. And they're sitting on the fence of if they want to lie to you, trick you out of the situation. But this is somebody who is very dangerous and risky. And with the Five of Pentacles, you're being told to leave these motherfuckers out in the cold. Because it's really two people. This could be a couple that are a bunch of liars. And they have to battle loyalty against you. These are your enemies. These are not your friends. And with the Knight of Cups, they keep trying to invite you places. Queen of Wands. Hmm. Wheel of Fortune. So you got an Aries. Leo Sagittarius here. With the Wheel of Fortune, this is a Sagittarius. This bitch is about to get bad karma. So don't be worried about this bitch. Okay? Her whole ass keeps coming out. And my motherfucking readers. Because she wants to be, I guess, seen so motherfucking bad. Why is Inside Scoop here? Yeah, somebody want to get a closer look. Okay? Yeah, Queen of Swords. <laughs> Four of Swords. So, this could be an Aquarius. The Queen of Swords is basically Libra to me. But this could be an Aquarius. Yeah, with the Four of Swords, Aquarius, Libra. I'm saying that um, you already know the truth. <laughs> you already know that somebody wants to get an inside scoop on you. This is why you're laying shit to rest. With a masculine energy. Mm-hmm. Let's see something. Why is this Queen of Swords here with Inside Scoop? Oh. Yeah, Ace of Wands, Queen of Swords. This person took some type of action here. <laughs> Against you, Queen of Swords. So, that's the truth. You're the Queen of Swords. Somebody took this action against you, Queen of Swords. King of Swords. That's the truth. Three of Wands. This is somebody at a distance from you. Nine of Cups that keeps wanting to, I guess... <sighs> Somebody want to date you, bruh. They want to date you. And you block them. Somebody want to date you, bruh. Like, that's what it is. And it's like, you could have laid some shit to rest with this masculine. This could be a child's father. And it's like, once you lay some shit to rest and got control over a situation, you can overcame some type of obstacle. And somebody is heartbroken here. This could be a Taurus. This could be a Leo. I'm saying that somebody tried to play God in your life and tried to block you with magic. <laughs> I'm saying that that was just an illusion. <laughs> somebody was out here doing illusion magic for people to take impulsive ass actions towards you. Do you know the karma? <laughs> you gotta laugh at this shit. Look, you gotta laugh at this shit. Because you got a king of cups here that has already moved on. This king of cups could be you, masculine. You've already moved on from this bitch. That's why I just be like, look, knight of pentacles. It's like somebody cannot get over the fact of how loyal you were to them. So, yeah. <laughs> Why is Hook here? For Scorpio? Why is Hook here? So, somebody is Hook. <laughs> and them getting hooked is the reason why they're about to go through a tower now. I'm also saying that somebody is caught. <laughs> somebody caught. And they're about to go through some chaos, destruction, sudden upheaval, four wands. This is a community of people. Full card, because you were innocent. Six of wands, and it's coming to light. Sun card, which is exposing the moon and illusion <laughs> that was created through someone's manipulation here. 
Somebody is being blocked for trying to play God in your fucking life. This person wanted you heartbroken so motherfucking bad, but you overcame some type of obstacle. And <laughs> like, hun bun. Like, that's why I be so fucking weak at these readings. Like, hun bun. You got to worry about yourself, hun bun. <laughs> why is dirt digging? Yeah, somebody is looking for dirt on you, hun. And that's the reason why they're getting karma now. For looking for dirt on you. And the crazy thing about it is... <laughs> With the seven of wands come out in reverse, they don't even have a reason why. This is somebody who has so somebody was so somebody was doing all this because they wanted you to give up on your beliefs. They wanted you to give in and admit failure. <laughs> so they was out here doing magic to try to put up an illusion. Now that illusion is being exposed for everybody to see. Because you were innocent in a community and now somebody is heartbroken whoever this tourist is that was lying on you to try to create stalemates here mm. why is unfazed why is this here yeah you're unfazed seven of cups about this illusion that was created ten of pentacles to this family eight of swords now somebody is looking powerless stupid when it comes to this partnership you in because they sabotaged themselves because they did not want to give up and they kept choosing some type of path to try to control the situation with a group of people and then they all said oh well you don't give a fuck you're unfazed this is why you not really supposed to like really do stuff like if you do do something do it once like that's like with bitches like say like a nigga cheat on them and they, they key his car okay but if you get back with this nigga and then you still doing the same thing, that's stupid. Like, it's to a point where it's like, okay, you're childish. I'm not even gonna fuck with you. You know how when bitches be crazy, sometimes they might excite a nigga for a little while. But once we get older, we in our 30s and shit, that shit looks very immature. <laughs> you know? This is why, like, you gotta watch what the fuck you do because that shit'll come and bite you in the ass. Like, seriously. And this is what it looked like is what's going on. Why is fake flex in here? Yeah. Knight of Pentacles. Somebody's been out here fake flexing by wow at the same time trying to slow up your finances. So they out here fake flexing their money but trying to slow up your finances. That's the motherfucking truth. This person wanted you to go through some type of ending <laughs> and was trying to watch it because this was their wish fulfillment to defeat you because of a soulmate connection you was in. Like I said, this was a bad investment. And with the Queen of Swords, you already knew the truth. This is why you ghosted motherfuckers and worked on yourself. Because it's like you already knew the truth. You already knew people playing. You already knew what the fuck. And it's like you always was speaking it out. And I'm guessing it got old. So you ghosted people. Like, bitch, I'm not about to keep talking about the same goddamn thing. With that Queen of Swords hermit. It's like, bitch, I'm not about to keep talking about the same goddamn thing. I'm just not fucking with y'all no more. Ghosted. You feel me? And I guess they couldn't take it. I mean, at the same time, who the fuck gonna keep dealing with a weird ass bitch? So what we got for Scorpio? What's the tea? We got murder for hire. Accepted money to take you out. <laughs> Karma at play. Do nothing. Focus on what you can control. Mm -hmm. We got stalking your every move. Trying to prove a point. Will be humiliated. This is somebody that's obsessed with your life. <laughs> this could be a sister, in-law, stepsister, god sister. This is a family member. Or through marriage. But this motherfucker tried to curse you. And the curse has broken. You broke the curse. You could have had a dark masculine too. You also had a dark masculine that did voodoo on you. Because you rejected him. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> like you can't get no pussy out here doing that for real like that's really weird so let's see what's going on so angels why is murder for hire here and set the money to take you out seven of cups somebody was wishfully banking them <laughs> five of cups now they're hella regret ace of pentacles for accepting this money ace of wands and trying to take this action ace of cups when it came to like this new beginning this new relationship I'm, i really feel as though because you had love and happiness in your life death card somebody wanted to end you three of wands this is somebody at a distance from you two of pentacles that's now going through ups and downs three of pentacles this is a group of people four of pentacles who wanted to control the situation two of wands so they chose this path nine of wands but you didn't give up 
you fought the fight. <laughs> Why is karma at play? It says do nothing. Yeah, karma is at play with this king of wands in reverse. This is a rude, dictating ass, impulsive ass, abusive ass, nasty ass nigga. Mm -hmm. This is a Sagittarius. <laughs> Who reconciled with a Taurus. And I'm guessing you left both of these people out in the cold to be self-sufficient and independent because you felt that they was toxic. Yeah, this was a toxic-ass couple who missed the opportunity when it came to partnering up. Now they're about to be mentally stuck and trapped within their family dynamic because this was a bad motherfucking idea. This was a bad investment. This was a bad choice. It was bad for business. And they didn't start what they finished. Like I said, this is a couple. They tried to defeat you. And they thought their wishes was going to be granted. So they was watching you as motherfuckers was betraying you. And that's the motherfucking truth. Mm-hmm. Tried to slope your finances, queen of cups. They took this impulsive ass action. This Sagittarius and this Taurus. They are a couple. This queen of pentacles is under judgment. And so is this Sagittarius. So I wouldn't do nothing. <laughs> I told you do nothing. See, you always let God fight your battles because he know how to get motherfuckers. You know. You don't know what the fuck they really got going on with this and that. But God do. Why is stalking your every move, trying to prove a point, will be humiliated? Who is this person? Ace of Swords. That's the truth. Page of Cups. You're being told to listen to your inner voice. Full card. And go down that new journey. Six of Wands. Because that is where your victory lies. And somebody else has been exposed for creating this illusion and choosing this path with a group of bitches to project on you because they wanted what you had. You're being told to move the common waters because somebody is about to go through a tower because you overcame the tower. <clears throat> what they sent towards you is now theirs. Why is obsessed with your life? Why is this here for Scorpio? Hey man, this could be a Pisces. Cancer. I'm saying that somebody was so obsessed with your life that they tried to sacrifice you and got rejected by the devil. <laughs> Do you see this? Four cups, the devil. That's being rejected by the devil. That's missing an opportunity with the devil. They tried to sacrifice you and got rejected by the man downstairs now the pinnacles all because you were independent successful financially stable secure wealthy beautiful five of pinnacles and they wanted you to be what in poverty going through struggles going through adversity archangel michael is here and um not only is archangel michael here you have to scrimp you had the strength <laughs> to heal from an illusion that was created. Now, motherfuckers is being exposed while you get victory and success with this new beginning. And it's all because you listen to yourself. <laughs> you know, when you listen to yourself, listening to yourself can save you out of a whole bunch of shit. Why is this sister here? <laughs> That's the truth. This could be... A younger sister? Yeah, this bitch wanted you to give up on your beliefs. This bitch wanted you to give in and admit failure. Now they're getting karma for even trying to invite you somewhere. Because it's already been an ending of that cycle. And now they're going through sleepless nights and anxiety. Because it's a stalemate. And you're standing on that, Empress. And somebody has been trying to attack you. Now they got external forces. Bad luck, turmoil, chaos, unwelcome changes for causing this conflict. Oh, well, it's a group of them. Why is curse has been broken? You broke the curse. Two of swords. Somebody didn't see this coming. Seven of pentacles. I'm saying that this was bad for business. This was a bad investment that this couple did. This is why they have to surrender. This is how they this is why they have to walk away. 
because they self-sabotage and self-sacrifice. Two of swords, now it's a stalemate. And motherfuckers is going through sleepless nights and anxiety because it's the end of this cycle of them trying to persuade you because they're getting karma. Like I said, they wanted you to give up and give in to some type of conflict that was going on. Now they're getting karma for trying to attack you over lies. Like, you look, man. Come on, man. At least when you attack somebody, at least be jealous of them. At least, oh my God, I attacked the person because I was jealous of them. You attacking somebody over some lies that you know that you lying about? <laughs> Baby, you going to hell with gasoline draws. <laughs> you going to hell with gasoline draws. And then, not even that, the devil rejected their ass. They, 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 come on now, but we had the hangman. Four of cups, the devil. <laughs> you got rejected by the man downstairs, huh? <laughs> you got a dark masculine that does voodoo on women when they reject them. This could be a Pisces. <laughs> this motherfucker tried to fuck with your dreams, tried to fuck with your creativity. But guess what? Your wish is being granted. And it's coming in fast. Because them setbacks that you went through was just for a major comeback. You're being told to leave the past in the past. Because motherfuckers is evil eyeing you. And it's not what it seems. It's just envy. Like, people are just envious of you. Like, it's just, just, that's just all. Oh, that's just it. They're just envious of you. Who is this that does voodoo? Yeah. You overcame this voodoo that this masculine did to try to lay something to rest for you. This person was making investments against you. Yeah, this person was making investments with a queen of wands. Look, this is a Pisces. This is a Pisces masculine that's in a family dynamic. That is way the fuck down because they're under judgment. Right along with this Queen of Pentacles, this is a family member. So this Queen of Pentacles is family members with this King of Cups. Both of their asses under judgment because somebody was paying motherfuckers to cause you loss, grief, and despair. They wanted you to feel abandoned. But you feeling abandoned was just a fucking illusion. But yeah, <laughs> they lost. <laughs> Their dream, which is you, Queen of Cups. So, <laughs> somebody tried to play with your dream state. <laughs> they was fucking with your mind. See, this is why. Why is Pisces here? Why is Neptune Pisces? Why is this here? Yeah, it's the Cups. Mm -hmm. This motherfucker weighed down by their family. This Pisces masculine. And this Queen of Wands, because they tried to offer you up by slowing up your finances to make their wishes come true of you being mentally stuck and trapped in a partnership, Queen of Cups. But that was just an illusion. Something is being laid to rest because they wanted you to give in. Now they're getting karma. So you were supposed to give in. You were supposed to give up. <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't know a Scorpio, babe. Hmm. So, yeah, you were supposed to give in to some form of attack that somebody was doing to you. <laughs> you were supposed to say, oh, my God. Just, just take me. Like, no. Yeah, somebody wanted to end. You been in this non dependent energy. You being so sufficient and independent. This is the thing with people. That karma, bitch, you're going to be five years. Somebody going to be struggling for about five years. Seven of Wands. Yep, you're being, tense. you're being told to stand up for yourself. Ace of Wands, take action. What we got going on? Nine of Cups here, again. Ten of Cups. So basically, you're being told to take the higher ground. Because you got some type of creative spark here, a new beginning here. And you're being told to follow your heart. Definitely when it comes to this happy ending. Because you just got a bunch of motherfuckers envious and jealous. That I guess that you're somebody's wish fulfillment or that you're getting your wish fulfillments. You're being told to stand in your power. Definitely when it comes to this love. That you have for your partner. This is definitely somebody that's a provider. Or for my masculines, you could be a provider. You could be in a relationship with someone. This is somebody that you love. And you're being told to stand strong. When it comes to your accomplishment. Because motherfuckers is just envious and jealous. Like, I like I don't know how many how much I got to keep saying that. Like, motherfuckers is just jealous. Okay. Why is the seven of wands here? Yeah, ten of wands. You're being told to block something. This causing you burdens. Knight of Swords, because this is an attack from a Queen of Pentacles. But whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, it's the end of a cycle with this bitch. 
you've already healed. And there's a queen of wands and this demonic ass energy. She's about to go through an ending for lying on you to a king of cups. That was an Somebody lied to this king of cups to get this king of cups to take an impulsive ass action towards you and your persons. And with that will of fortune, they're getting karma. Why is the ace of wands here? With the ace of swords, that's the motherfucking truth. Yeah, ace of wands. Yeah, basically, you're being told to take action. Because somebody does not have control over a situation. And they're receiving bad luck. <laughs> I'm also saying whatever action somebody took is the reason why you're breaking cycles now. <laughs> like, you're not in a cycle. You broke the cycle. And somebody is disappointed that they don't have control over a situation. This could be a Sagittarius or a fire sign. This is definitely a fire sign. That's the truth. This is somebody that's at a distance from you. They thought that they was going to receive good news if they got you rejected. If they had people looking at you negative. This person got to lay that shit to rest. Because they're just obsessed and demonic. This is a queen of wands that you've already healed from and closed out a karmic cycle with. You also got a queen of pentacles. This bitch tried to attack your twin flame connection. This bitch tried to attack your home. This was an impulsive ass action because this king of cups was out here lying about you going through an ending or about you dying or about a cycle ending for you. Like, what the fuck is people talking about? So somebody tried to attack you because somebody told them. So this king of cups lied and said that you was the reason for like a death. Yeah, this king of cups lied and said like you was the reason for a death or you was the reason for an ending here. So somebody took an impulsive ass action. In this community to attack you. This Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles is a Taurus with this world. Somebody that you've already heard a cycle a, a karmic cycle wouldn't heal from. Then you had this Queen of Wands. This bitch was addicted to trying to control a partnership you was in. Now shit is being laid to rest for them. Because they missed the opportunity. So all of this is surrounding a lion ass King of Cups. Oh. The Pisces. Masculine. That's who this is. So yeah. <laughs> all of this is to do with this. Pisces. Why is this Knight of Cups here? Yeah, somebody has been trying to charm you. But you had the strength to tame the beast within. Ace of Cups when it came to the love that you had for your partner. You got a King of Pentacles here. This person did not want to give up so you was defeated. Now they're mentally stuck and trapped in an illusion because you were innocent and something was already given to you. Meanwhile, somebody's at a stalemate because you moved on and ghosted their ass. Now somebody is being exposed for trying to slope your finances and projecting so that you could be going through poverty, hardship, sickness, and scandals. Yeah, this is a couple. They're about to reap what they sow though. Because they're about to go through a heavy burden because of the path they chose to cause you heartbreak, trauma, grief, and depression. They thought they was going to get good news. But the only thing they got coming towards them is a tower. Because Archie Michael is here when it comes to you, Earth Angel. Because guys, definitely... Because you are to listen to your intuition about these group of bitches. <laughs> Look at them. Look at them. Is that, or is that, not three, three, and three. Two bitches was listening to this nigga. Now all three of the asses on the judgment. Because they was out here celebrating. Yeah, motherfuckers was celebrating. Judging you and working together. Trying to play God in your life. Now they in hella regret because this masculine. <laughs> Queen of Cups. They see you as official. As their empress. And they're willing to give you anything. This is why motherfuckers is envious and jealous of you. For my masculine. You see somebody as your one. <laughs> and that's the reason why bitches is envious and jealous of her. Or you. Okay, look at your cup. Why is the ten of cups here? Yeah, it's a happy ending. <laughs> and with the five of wands, this is why motherfuckers is, motherfuckers is in competition with your partnership. Because it's an emotional fulfillment. And you have the strength. Like, they mad. They watching you. So, they mad that you had the strength because they was watching you go through ups and downs. But they're about to get karma for trying to control the situation and coming up with these plans. Because they knew that you was going to be self-sufficient, independent, and get victory and success. So, somebody tried to sabotage you. A king of wands. This was their wish fulfillment. And this king of cups, they missed the opportunity. Now, something that's being laid to rest for them. This queen of wands, she was obsessed because you was being seen as a healer. And this queen of pentacles, this, you already ended the cycle with that hoe. We don't even know why she's here. Like, we don't even know why the, what the fuck she wants. No, we about to see what this hoe wants. Why is this Queen of Pentacles here for Scorpio Angels? Why is this Queen of Pentacles here? This Queen of Pentacles saw that you was healing your heartbreak. So she wanted to do voodoo to cause a collision 
to cause a storm. It's breaking dawn for this hoe. It is breaking dawn for this hoe. Because this bitch only returned for a time. Now your ancestors is here. Your ancestors is here when it comes to this bitch. Mm -hmm. This bitch was doing voodoo because you was healing your heart from heartbreak. Like I told you in the beginning. Was it my last reading? I was like, um, motherfuckers thought you was going to be heartbroken for so long. They wanted to use the heartbreak to break you down. They wanted you to give in. They wanted you to give up. But that's the thing. Um, when y'all believe two different things, um, you can only get somebody to fold if they're weak. Um, you came out as the script card. You're not weak. And this is, this is the thing that they don't get. Mm -mm. Look, want to distract you from what you got going on. I hate her. For real. For real. <laughs> that's sad and pathetic. Like, that's very sad and pathetic. Like, you should really worry about yourself, honey, boy. Yeah. Somebody was causing confusion. They wanted you to be uncertain, unclear, unsure. And they was hoping, you know, they was expecting for you to be holding on, obsessively spying. Yeah, this is somebody that you don't have for, that you don't have words for, masculine. I could be talking to a divine masculine. You don't have word for this bitch. And it's so crazy that I'm slipping up on my words. I know how to talk completely. I'm like the queen of swords. I know how to talk. And the fact that I'm slipping up on my words and shit lets me know, like, somebody is all fucked up right now it's like somebody thought you was gonna hold on to them they was hoping that you was confused masculine but you don't got no words for this hoe you don't have no words for this hoe and they're craving you aching you it's like you're this person's ecstasy <laughs> and they feel hopeless without your says sorrow about your ass because you got clarity that this bitch tried to trap you and it's all because you was nourishing yourself I know I wouldn't want me to be no whole like that. I know I wouldn't. Why is confusion here? King of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody wanted you to be confused. So that you guys could have a new beginning. But that would have been an impulsive ass action, babe. It's like. I said in the beginning. Somebody sees you as a provider. Like you always looked out. You always took care of this motherfucker. Now they're going through sleepless nights and anxiety. Heartbroken. That, um, something is being slowed up for them. It's like you're taking your precious time to come towards them. To offer them something. Why is hope in here? But like I said, you could have also been somebody who was very loyal. And it's like, somebody is confused. Like, oh, you, you gone? You not coming back? Type of energy. Yeah, but this page of cups to me where somebody... Is receiving bad news. But that's their karma. For what they was hoping. For what they was wishing. They're, they're getting they're getting karma. This is somebody who did not want to give up. They was even working with a family member. A queen of wands. Aries. Sagittarius. And a king of cups. To lay something to rest for you. And now it's the end of this karmic cycle. They're being left out in the cold for attacking you. They've already been rejected. It's like you've already... What's so sad is like you've already rejected this person with the four with the four of cups and the nine of pentacles. This let me know that you don't even see this person the same. You look at them as skeptical, like you have a negative outlook when it comes to this person. And it's like they keep trying to like force their stuff in or force an offer to you. That's like the reading I did yesterday. Somebody was trying to put their cooch on you. Like, ew, like why would you even do that to yourself? Why is clinging here? And you could be holding on. Or somebody is holding on to you. However you want to play it. Yeah. You. I keep telling you. Somebody is holding on to some shit that you've already done walked away from. Like somebody is holding on to you. And you've already done abandoned them. Walked away from them. You know. You ain't cause no fight. You ain't cause no fuss. And this is why this person is a hell of a grad. Because you was able to heal from this group of bitches. And now they're about to reap what the fuck they sow because they tried to control the situation with lies. Just so that you can give them money in the past. I'm saying that they've been projecting on you and that's the truth. Now they 
are being judged for this sacrifice that they tried to do. They're being judged for that sacrifice. And now they're about to go through a tower. Whoever this king of wands and this queen of pentacles is, they are about to go through a pain for ending. Because you were innocent. So however you want to put it, this a couple, this, a, this is a girl, this is a boy, does not fucking matter. You've already walked away. And they still doing shit behind the scenes. This is something that is like, okay, say like you had an ex-girlfriend. Oh shit, we can use, just say your baby mom. You know, you and your baby mama don't fuck with each other no more. You feel me? So this bitch started getting on Facebook. Oh, he don't take care of his kids. He's a deadbeat. And it's like, you just, you already paid child support. So it's like, what what, what are you talking about? I mean, I, I paid child support. Well, he's not in his life. He doesn't come and see him. But you ain't seen him about like two weeks or, you know, after y'all had this argument. It's giving something so fucking petty. And that's why motherfuckers is under judgment now. Because it went too far. It went to some whole dark, di diabolic ass shit. Like, seriously. Why is Divine Masculine here? Yeah, Divine Masculine, you've already released your virgins. And somebody wasted their time. And like I said, if somebody's out here trying to manipulate a situation by trying to offer you up with this Page of Pentacles, it did not work. The magician in the work in the reverse is wasted talent. Something did not go as planned. This is not this is not master manipulation. No, when a magician is upright, that means yeah, it went through. They was able to manipulate a situation. No. You already got the ten of wands in reverse. That means that you released the burden. And you released this manipulating ass bitch or nigga. Being that it's divine masculine here, like I'm definitely talking to a masculine. You could have been in with a Sagittarius, a Virgo, or a Gemini. You've released this hoe. And whatever she tried to do, it has it was a waste of fucking time. Cause like I said, you've already learned a lesson. And because you learned a lesson, they're now about to be exposed for trying to fuck with your emotions. Fuck with your mind. They wishes was not fulfilled. They got rejected when they attack you. This is why they're being left out in the cold. Like, what part don't they get? You wasted your talent. And because you did what you did, now you're being exposed. Say like this was somebody who tried to manipulate a situation, tried to manipulate a group of people. Honey, you're being exposed for everybody to see you. How much of a waste of talent that you did, you could have you could have did anything. But you sat here trying to make somebody life a living hell. That was a bad investment. And I don't know how, how else to say it, because it's like when somebody don't want you, you move on. Like, I remember when we were younger and shit like that. Yeah, I'm talking about as female. When we were younger and shit like that, we'll fight a bitch or we'll get even with a bitch or shit. We'll, you even got some shit. Well, I never did this before in my life. You even got a bitch that will fuck with a nigga friend. But it's like, once you get in your 30s, shit, 25, I feel like you should be an adult. Like, all this other shit that motherfuckers got going on, this dark ass shit, that shit don't get you far. And why it don't get you far? Because the devil is just going to abandon you. We all know that. So that's why you have to laugh at a motherfucker like this. The devil worked for God. And if you don't know that, you 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 stupid. Like, what the fuck? Like, that's so fucking dumb. You sitting here trying to sacrifice somebody. And now you got an answer to why you tried to sacrifice somebody. The fuck? So, angels. I mean, God. What's the message? God wants you to know that something is just in your mind, okay? Have gratitude, okay? Hold on, I'm being told to shuffle again. Oh, yeah, I'm saying that somebody was in their head. Something was just imagination. Now they're in hella regret. Yeah. You got abundance here. It says... I am a limited spin and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. You could be feeling as though, should I do this? Should I do that? The only thing you need to do is accept. Okay? Just accept. Okay? You don't need to be whatever, whatever feels good to you, do it. Why is abundance here? Let's go for your God. Yeah, with the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. King of Wands. So, what I'm hearing is, 
your abundance is going to come from you being, you know, hmm. But this King of Pentacles and this King of Wands, let me see about that. Because at the bottom of the deck, we got the King of Swords. That's the truth. Why is this King of Pentacles here? Six of Wands. You're getting victory and success over this King of Pentacles. But let's see what's going on. Yeah, this King of Pentacles. So all of this was because of money. That's what I just heard. All of this was because of money. With the Two of Wands, this Taurus took this path to reconcile with you, King of Cups, all because of money. Mm -mm. Why is this King of Wands here with abundance? They said that this King of Wands is a Sagittarius. This is a Sagittarius, they say. And whatever work he did, it ain't working. I'm also hearing this motherfucker ain't got that job no more. So, yeah, look, that motherfucker don't work that. If this motherfucker was a hard worker, they're not a hard worker no more. That shit came to an end. It came to an end. This person is going through imbalances when it comes to their finances. This is why they tried to ghost you. Because they tried to win at all costs. But the divine stepped in. And that's the motherfucking truth. You have to set clear cut boundaries because somebody took some type of action towards you. And that's the truth. At a distance. To try to charm you so that they can block you. Yeah, they tried to block what you was about to receive. A group of motherfuckers. Being in this toxic ass energy because of this queen of wands. Hmm. What? Yeah, they tried to attack you. I also heard they was obsessively attacking you. Why is indecision here? Let's go here. Why is indecision here? Yeah, seven of pentacles. So somebody is indecisive now because they feel as though they made a bad investment. When it came to their financial management, when it came to not finishing what they started. This is somebody who tried to defeat you in you. We got Gemini, Taurus. Why is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse? Oh. You overcame the obstacle. That's why it's a bad investment. It's because you had the strength to overcome going through poverty, being left out in the cold, and now. You close out a karmic cycle. Something is being laid to rest because you was able to hold back your energy and continue to invest in yourself. Now you got a group of bitches wanting to heal something with you, but this queen of wands and this family dynamic, she still wants to have this ongoing battle. And it's okay because she's going to get karma. Why is the ten of swords here with indecision? Oh. See, motherfuckers don't know if they made the right choice because... They just cause conflict here. Things are not balanced. After motherfuckers betrayed you, became your enemy, tried to curse you, nothing is being balanced. You would never reconcile with these people. You would never have love for these people. And it's because they cause conflict for you. This is a community of people that want to have a new beginning with you. And it's only because you got an opportunity to come towards you and they want to take it because they knew that you were going to be self-sufficient and independent, Empress. Yeah. Your lover is about to receive good news. And this is karmic kind of justice after somebody betrayed this person. This king of wands and this queen of pentacles is about to go through a tower. They sabotage themselves and they're under judgment. That's the truth. So, oh well. Maybe next time people will make better choices. Why is acceptance here? Yeah, you're being told to accept that somebody betrayed you. Accept that somebody tried to cause you a tower so that you can move on and get what you deserve. Mm -hmm. Eight of Wands, somebody wants to communicate with you now. A group of bitches here that chose this path to make a wish come to fruition, but they're getting karma. And they have to give up on their beliefs because they're being exposed for doing magic and lying on you to attack you. And you know what they got them? Bad luck. If I was you, I would stay the fuck away from these people. Like I said, just accept something. Accept motherfuckers treated you unfairly. Accept the fact that motherfuckers betrayed you. Became your enemy. Speak ill on you. Tried to curse you. Tried to downcast you. Just accept it. 
it is what it is. Sure is. Three of swords. Except that motherfuckers basically broke your heart. <laughs> a community. So that you could be so sufficient independent. Because it's the end of that cycle. A motherfucker's charming you. Just to slow you up. And invest in some type of shit. It's like motherfuckers was heavily invested in trying to slow you up. <laughs> this is my word of advice, Scorpio. Accept things for what it is. This is like a book I was reading. It was like the girl, she was like her family and them. They treated her like shit, but they treated her older sister better than her. But it's like her older sister was, you know, had a kid in high school and didn't have a job, didn't do nothing. She depended on niggas for money. But the younger sister, she had her own business. She went to Spelman. She went to Harvard. She had two different degrees. And, you know, she was on her shit. She had her own business and everything. And it's like her family always had shit to say to her. But not to her other sister. This is giving um. Then I say people because if the hate don't work, they start telling lies. And if a motherfucker hating, and then you ain't popping. Just remember them. Remember them. Remember them songs. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. <laughs> if you ain't got no motherfucking haters, you is not popping. So accept people for what they did. Cause um they did this out of pride. Wanting you to be alone, out here judging you, all that shit failed. Because you're going to have happiness, and you're going to have friendships, and you're going to have peace. This is why you have to find the humor in the situation. You just need to have patience and trust, because success is already here for you. But you don't need to go cold, okay? So, just have empathy. But then again, accept it. Like, accept what people did. It's okay. Like, you ain't dead. <laughs> ain't nothing ain't nothing going on. I mean, like I said, motherfuckers try to do shit. They tried. I mean, they tried. You know? Yeah. Whatever little exploitation they tried to do, robbery they tried to do, that shit got stopped. It got stopped. So it doesn't even matter. They lost. And they're mad. Because you got victory and success. That's why you need to laugh. Because it's like everything they did didn't even work. So just accept. But they did. Move on. Boss the fuck up. Because after you accept something, your success is here. You just need to trust and have patience. And laugh. Laugh at these. Look, you're being told to laugh at motherfuckers because you are at peace. You not even. That's why I be like, ah. <laughs> you got to laugh at people because it's like, you got all these people linking up with each other. Thinking that, um, you're going to give a fuck. Like, that's like me. Like, I don't even fuck with my family. And I could care less. Like, I don't fuck my mama's side. I don't fuck my daddy's side. And it's just so funny to me because I'm strong. I'm very strong. And I don't give a fuck what they be talking about. Like, with me, I just do not care what, they, what people be talking about. Like, when I was younger, I used to care. I used to care what people used to talk about when I was younger. I'm older now. This is my life. How the fuck you gonna try to tell me what I can do with my life? What about you already there? Did it be people that all got their own life or people that's definitely the, our mama and daddy and shit? Like, man, first of all, didn't you live your life? Weren't you new here just like I was new here? Now, it's okay to give me um, criticism, but for you to think that you're gonna keep talking shit or you're gonna keep that, man, you can shove that shit up your ass. <laughs> I be weak, and that's why I love doing tarot because. Like, I'm a laugh in your face. Like, wait. And I, I, y'all, yeah, it's a lot of people that really don't like me because I'm the queen of swords. Like, no, that's me for real in real life. And I'm not cold. It's just I don't give a fuck what nobody have to say. This is my life. <laughs> and I don't got to sugarcoat nothing. Like, what? This is my life. If anything I got going on in my life, that's my fucking life. It's my consequences. Like, this, this something that I got to deal with. Why the fuck is you open up your mouth? <laughs> Please. And you might got to be like that. You might got to be like me. And it's crazy because I'm speaking about myself. And I usually don't speak about myself. But you probably need to be like me. Like, the what? No. You're not that important. Like, people used to be important to me. Until I started knowing my worth. Until I started understanding. You got narcissists out here. You got people who get off on seeing people feel a certain type of way. And now, like, I used to always say shit like, 
oh, why they feel the way about me? Or why did hell no. Nah. <laughs> Not no more. I don't give a fuck, her. I really don't. Because <laughs> most time people say shit about you is because they're jealous of you. And half the time, like half the time, nine times out of ten, when it comes to these niggas, when they do say something about you and shit like that, it's only because, oh, you don't want them. Or they trying to impress a bitch. I could care less about you and your hoe. That's why. <laughs> like, I, like, it's so crazy because I'm, I'm dealing with my twin flame right now. And I would just remember, like, feeling the hate all the way. Like, we was at Hardy's one time. And I could feel the hate all the way from Hardy's. It was just only up the street. But I could feel the hate all the way from Hardy's. And their house was, like, ten minutes away from Hardy's. But I could feel it. Me and him. It was like, whoa, we just met. <laughs> and it was hate. And it's like, oh, because how I look. That shit is crazy. You can look like, ah, oh, man, I don't know. Just like me, I got a nice shape, you know? I don't just have a nice shape. I'm pretty, too. So, y'all yeah, know how people can stereotype us because how we look and how our body look. And it just be like, that's just insecurities. Like, you, is really insecurities. And you can't really worry about somebody else's insecurities. Because if you had to work on yourself, they need to work on they self. Like, enough of that. Like, enough of worried about people like that. Like, definitely people who judge mental. Like, how dare you? Like, I had somebody try to use God. Like, honey, don't use God against me. Are you fucking stupid? Do you not know I have a close relationship with God? Like, what are you, what are you talking about? Just because they go to church. You go to church? What? Do you even know God himself? Or are you reading the Bible? Or are you just thinking because you're reading the Bible? No, baby, you got to know God. Do you even know his names? Which one you name him? That's why I just be looking at people like they crazy, man. That's why you got to start just treating people how they act. Like, once you act crazy, you're cut off. I don't deal with nutcases. If you, if you slow... I'm just not going to deal with you because I don't have patience. Like, it's just with certain shit. Like, I can't, I don't like judgmental people. And I don't like judgmental people because it's like, it, everybody have a past. Whether you want to admit it or not. Just like I had a bitch to try to like, I like Sexy Red. The girl, she was like, oh, I can never listen to Sexy Red. You can't listen to Sexy Red. Well, she's just an entertainer. Like, you don't know that girl. She's just an entertainer. This is a bitch you can turn up to. Shake that ass, bitch. Hands on a knee type, like, what the fuck? Ain't nobody, like, what? Oh, yeah, this is a, this a bad influence for our kids. Um, Excuse me, you have to raise your kids. And if you're listening to that music in your crib, you can also always dictate if, if your kids listen to that music or not. I mean, you pay the bills there, you know? <laughs> like That's why I just be like, I cannot, you know, with people. But at the end of the day, Scorpio, and yeah, for my masculines too, like, even when it comes to brothers and shit, you have a brother that's jealous of you because they want the bitch you with. And it's just be... I don't know, man. Like, I seen a nigga tell his brother, like, oh, what you want to do for... What you want to do with your life? And he told him what he want to do. And then he made it seem like because he had all the tools or because he had the bitch with money to get it for him that he was going to do what the nigga wanted to do with his life. That shit was so jealous. Like... I, I um, I be so fucking weak at people because it's like you always see a bitch jealousy, like you know that's why you don't never tell nobody what you are gonna do with your life because they'll sit and try to do it before you. Like what? So you think because you got the money, and you got the resources that you could just take my dream from me? Like I seen a nigga real loud do that to his brother. Like told the nigga he was like he was trying to ask his brother like, oh what you gonna do with your life? And because the brother was a little bit down, needed the brother and shit like that, he tried to make sure, oh, well, I could just do that. I got me a lawnmower and, what was it? Uh, a grass, what was it? It's one of those, I don't know what the fuck that is. I'm not a man. I don't do that man job, but I think uh, a grass eater. He had like a grass eater. You know, the shit they cut on the side of the cur uh, the curves and shit like that. But yeah, he told a nigga like, oh, I could do that. So you gonna take somebody else's, you ask the person what they gonna do, and then you gonna try to do what they will, what they was gonna do. That was the most sickest shit I ever seen in my life. <laughs> you feel me? But he tried to like judge him and shit, you know. So that's why you just can't really worry about people like really see the humor because what they don't know is them setbacks was just a major comeback, and you're being told to leave the past in the fucking past. If it's people, leave them there. If it's 
if it's a job, leave it there. You got better opportunities coming towards you. And you don't need this unnecessary scratch. This is your life. Let's remember that. This is your life. It's not theirs.